Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. So, going along with this series of all five vehicles, five things that I love, five things that I hate about my vehicles here. Hopefully we'll slip in the Durango as well. But today we're focusing on the Chevy Cruze. And uh, right now it's raining as we're driving into work, going in a little bit later. So that touches on the first thing I wanna talk about on the five things that I hate about the Chevy Volt. And these are subjective um, and objective here. Uh, I love this car more than I hate it, clearly. So, with that being said, the first thing that I hate about this car, the tire width on this vehicle is 215. Now the ride is very compliant, as I talked about in the five things I love video, but when you're looking for traction when it's wet out, or when you're looking for traction when you're spirited driving, this vehicle around a corner it just isn't there because of the 215 with tires now the only problem about making these wider is that you will lose some range on the vehicle so right now I'm getting anywhere from uh, 30 to 35 miles on a charge and uh, if you were to put these up to 235 45 55 something like that you would probably lose a few miles of range there but now when it's raining out like this I have much reduced traction even if I were to get some nicer tires than what are on there right now. So stock of course these are 17 inch rims. I believe these are 215 45 R15 tire or R17 tires on there right now. So with that being said the traction in the wet just isn't that great or around corners. So that's the first thing. Now the second thing on this vehicle is the interior. So the interior of this vehicle, sorry for the rain, it's actually raining pretty hard, but the interior of this vehicle in its base form right now is a little bit on the cheap side. So the steering wheel is vinyl, uh, kind of a rhino-ish vinyl uh, material and the seats are more of a, a harder cloth type seat, not that cushy. Now for me, I like a firmer seat, so this definitely doesn't bother me at all. But there is no lumbar in these cloth seats, there is no heated seats, and a lot of this plastic material here is, is uh, not very soft, a lot of harder materials here. But for me, I don't mind it so much, but yeah, I wish it was a little bit nicer to the touch. So, with that being said, oh, you know what, actually the shifter here too. The shifter is quite bulky for this vehicle as well. A lot of hard plastic, kind of everywhere. And uh, moving on to the next part of five things I hate. So, in this base model, you don't get an electronically dimming mirror. You have to use it the manual way like you're seeing me do right now. And you don't get a backup camera. So those two things right there alone in 2013, I don't think it was mandatory to have a backup camera by the US government. And I really wish it was because this vehicle doesn't have any backup sensors on it. It doesn't have, I mean, it does have pretty good rear visibility and thank God it's a smaller car. You know, it's very wide open, which is nice. The greenhouse is nice and big. But with that being said, when you're used to backup cameras now, even in 2013 when a lot of cars were having those and you don't have them, this can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes at backing up or pulling into tighter spaces. So with that being said, that would be the third thing I hate about this vehicle is that there is no backup camera and uh, the rear view mirror is not powered either. Um, moving on to the fourth thing I hate. The sound system in this is not great. And I've tried out bolts with the Bose sound system. It's a little bit better, but it's nothing that you would crank up all the way and expect good tones, uh, good bass or good travel or good clarity out of. Anytime I put on any sort of, uh, uh, let's just say for example, if I'm putting on Hair Nation 
or if I'm putting on Shade 45 or if I'm putting on Turbo on XM, anytime you get above uh, 19 to 20 on the sound, you really lose a lot of clarity in the sound, even when everything is at its mid level. So when mid, the mid range or the base of the treble is even down at the standard line, everything is still pretty blurry with that. So I think this is only a six speaker sound system. You've got two tweeters up front, two right here on the doors, and then two in the back as well. So the sound just really isn't that great on the vehicle. Um, last thing here, and it's really not much of a hate, but the hatchback is not powered, and the hatchback doesn't go up high enough sometimes, so when you're walking around the vehicle, and I know this from experience, if you're somebody not used to a hatchback on an actual hatchback vehicle, you know, an SUV is a little bit different because the hatch raises up high enough where you can walk under. But for something like this, where the hatch doesn't raise up uh, high enough, you can tend to hit your head sometimes. So, uh, <laughs> with the hatchback, and I've done this before, you can hit your head on it sometimes because it doesn't go up high enough. When you're bending down into the actual trunk of the vehicle, you can hit your head. And that's kind of a big issue, even for somebody shorter at five foot eight. Just think of somebody, you know, at six foot in this vehicle. And the last bonus thing I hate about this, and this is a Chevrolet GM thing, and I haven't found a way to turn it off yet. So every time you take your key out of the vehicle, so this little key fob here, every time you take it out of the vehicle, it honks, whether the car is open or locked. It honks at you telling you that the vehicle is still on. Oh, excuse me. Woo, I'm tired. We gotta get woken up. So the vehicle is still on or it's off, one or the two, but you took your keys out of the vehicle. And it does like a three loud honk, like a beep, 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 like a three loud honk to warn you that. And to tell you the quite frank truth, that gets very annoying, especially when you have neighbors that are close, that you live close quarters to. So even though this car is extremely quiet in all ways, the honk is not quiet. This is one of the loudest honks on a car I think I've ever heard stock. So that's a little bonus thing on the five things I hate about my Chevy Volt. If those things were fixed, and part of it's my fault for buying a base model Volt, but if those things were fixed, then uh, we would have a great vehicle here. But all in all, the five things I love versus the five things I hate way outweighs the negatives here. Um, I love this vehicle. It's a great daily driver. It does everything I want to do. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Drive safe out there and uh, take care. Thanks.